Mr. President. Senator from Missouri. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I stand in solidarity with my colleagues on separating these issues. I think the American people think that's what we do here. I think the American people think we actually have an appropriations process where we have individual bills come forth and we're offering amendments and senators can have their say, Republicans and Democrats can have different ideas, offer different amendments, and we vote on those things. That's actually not what happens here at all. And this is now compounding this with this supplemental aid package of putting on a bunch of unrelated issues to try to bootstrap Ukraine aid when the most pressing need we have right now, the most bipartisan support we have right now is the Israeli aid. And by the way, it's paid for. Now, I know listening to the hallways buzz in this town about actually paying for something is, like, unbelievable. Like, we're, you know, it's going to be catastrophic if we actually have that discussion. But I think it's healthy. I think it's healthy. But I think we need to separate these issues. This is supposed to be the most deliberative body in the history of the world. And what we're told is we can't do that. And to this, my friend from Ohio's point, history doesn't begin and end with Neville Chamberlain. There are a lot of lessons from history about how do you confront these things. And by the way, each theater is very different. What Israel needs is different. What Ukraine might need is different. What Taiwan might need is different. Oh, and by the way, what the United States of America might need is different as we face our chief rival in the world. We've never had one like this in the history of this country with China. We've never had an economic rival, a nuclear power, a militarized rival like we have with China. Maybe we should be talking as we talk about this military industrial base, and I think there's broad support for this, for long range capability. Our military industrial, uh, our military industrial base is strapped right now. We're at capacity. We ought to be growing that. I support that, but I think we ought to have a discussion about what does the United States need too? But as it relates to Israel, they have a clear objective, a likelihood of success, broad support. I have yet to hear any of that as it relates to Ukraine. All we get are, again, slogans and fear-mongering. I think, by the way, if you brought up that for an individual vote, it might pass. I don't know. We ought to try it, but I know this would. It should today. But he, we're going to hear objections now from the Democrats. They're going to object to this and forestall this important aid that our allies in Israel who are facing a real existential threat right now need. Again, and by the way, we've thrown in, you know, border here, and call me skeptical as it relates to Joe Biden and his administration on his seriousness when it comes to the border. When I was Attorney General in Missouri, we fought some of these fights in court, including keeping Remain in Mexico in place. We had to get court orders and contempt orders against this administration to actually follow the judge's order to enforce the law. Now, I am going to support the strongest border package possible, but it's really hard when you have an executive branch that isn't interested in executing the law. And now we have eight plus million people in this country who've come here illegally. They've admitted that quite possibly we have terrorists in this country because we have an open border. Let's have that debate also. But here we are with an opportunity to se separate the Israeli funding, again, that has broad support. Each one of these issues each one of these funding requests have separate realities on the ground, political support, strategies, likelihood of success. Let's respect that, and let's respect the will of the American people that we can actually come up here and do the important work we were sent here to do, which is to have real debate in what's supposed to be the most deliberative body in the history of the world. I yield back to the senator from Kansas.